I only have three achievements left for Horizon Zero Dawn. Complete the New Game Plus, complete an Ultra Hard New Game Plus, and achieve all of the achievements. Essentially, I beat the game on Ultra Hard, and I get all three. To be warned, spoilers await you beyond this point of the video. I learned that the New Game Plus skips the intro with Aloy as a kid, and set out to meet Ross to begin my journey. I didn't know how challenging Ultra Hard would be, but considering I start with all equipment from my previous playthrough, I doubt it'll be anything insane. Taking an overconfident shortcut down a cliff was the cause of my first death. Then, the first real test of the difficulty, the first machine of the playthrough, that was too many firsts in a single sentence, I'm gonna roll with it. It went down laughably easy, this was going to be a chill playthrough. But I was still concerned about the quest where all of your gear is taken from you and you have to face a big boy. That feels awkward saying it out loud. I don't know why I scripted that, but whatever. I looted a box on a roof and got yelled at for it. Why do you have to go climbing houses? For the first time in my life, I felt special, at least until I spotted my roof climbing rival. I quickly proved my superiority by standing on his head. After that incident, I had a completely normal conversation. What's wrong? Apology. Oh, I. Wait. No. Whoa. Hey. Then I began the proving so I could finally no longer be an outcast, but a cult gave me a few bullets for ever having such a ridiculous notion. I gave them back. After waking up inside a mountain, I jumped on Tirso's head. My record is five jumps. I downed my first corruptor in two shots, then set out towards Meridian instead of helping find the Nora Warchief. I almost thought I was going to die a second time when I got stunlocked by a trampler and a strider, but I managed to get the high ground. Even after that, I had the great idea to take on my first thunder job, and honestly, getting up this ledge was more challenging than the actual fight. I was eager to get into Meridian quickly, but I learned the hard way that the Meridian elevators are locked the first time you visit the city. And after climbing all the way around, I had another normal conversation. Uh, over the so of as you there. My eagerness got the better of me again, trying to push these ingots before uncovering the trap door. I killed a few more cultists, but the last one decided to hide behind a rock and taunt me. Come on, poke your head out. I don't want to climb up there. I won't quit till I find you. I'm right here. So for making me climb up there, I set him on fire. I let random chance decide Olin's fate, and he was spared. Aaron thanked me for helping him, even though I was off doing my own thing at the time. Help. Come on over here and have a word. What are you waiting for? But you don't feel hey, like we need to talk. But despite that, I refused to do Aaron's errands. I have more important things to do, like trampling cultists in broad daylight. I discovered some destroyed machines and a few corpses at Maker's End, then began the great climb up the tower. <gasps> oh jeez, I did not think I was going to make that. I was horrified to learn that this was an unskippable cutscene, but thankfully with the power of editing, you won't have to. The game had the last lap though, as it pretended to crash numerous times on my way to the Grave Horde. It's doing this again. Oh my gosh. I made it, finally, and plummeted to my second death after failing to grab the zipline. I was extra cautious the second attempt. A few almost Skyrim easy puzzles later, and I was on my way to another cultist killing spree. It gave me a moment to contemplate my annoyance at how many humans Horizon Zero Dawn throws at you when the selling point of the game is the robot dinosaurs. This Deathbringer found my weakness, and instead of shooting me directly, shot the platform below my feet and killed me with the fall damage. I didn't give it a second chance to do that to me by jumping off the platform myself. Then, I remembered that I can safely grapple my way down, and with my feet on solid ground again, I easily eliminated the Deathbringer and its allies. And with that over, I ziplined my way down the mountain. My heart nearly skipped a beat when I thought fall damage would take my life yet again. Unfortunately, to continue the story, I was forced to go back and help the Nor War Chief, which I had skipped previously, a few dead cultists later, and I blew up the walls to the cultist base. They didn't stand a chance. Now, with that diversion over, I was on my way to destroy the walking cell tower. On the way, I was ambushed by a stalker who glitched me underwater and then caused my fifth death. Unfortunately, sent me all the way back to Meridian, but whatever, it's not like I'm salty about it. I avoided the stalker this time and started climbing this cliff. My nemesis fall damage struck again, so all the way back to Meridian. Again. The pain was very real. Not taking any chances this time, I fast traveled north so I could avoid both the cliff and the stalker, and breathed a sigh of relief as I found a campfire so I could finally save and leave that nightmare behind me. Back on track, I cut a swath through more machines, saw a machine die from friendly fire, then I tried to get a stealth kill on this long leg, but somehow it saw me. Shot in the crotch for that, unintentionally. I was aiming for the canisters on its back, but missed. Don't worry, it died shortly after. Silence told me to get moving, but instead, I decided to take a nap. What do you think I'm doing, taking a nap? Next, I broke into the namesake Zero Dawn facility, which was underwhelmingly guarded. A few more puzzles and I was captured by the leader of the cult, and forced to fight an angry machine in a death pit. This was the quest I was concerned could be a problem, but what I completely forgot was that you knock down the pillars and get all of your gear back for the real fight. So yeah, this was easy. 
I tore through the machines attacking the Nora because the quest marker told me to, then faced down my second Thunderjaw. I thought it would be cool to use this machine gun, but it slowed me down enough for the Thunderjaw to inflict my seventh death. On my second try, I softened it up with a few grenades, then shot it in the heart. The next hit brought it down. The game nearly brought my death count to eight with this pit, but my shields absorbed the damage thankfully, and now I was on my way to the ruins of Gaia Prime. I set off a few flares, but it was fine because I left nothing alive to be alerted by them. Then was my first fight with a Stormbird. I managed to knock it out, but it got back up before I was able to get close enough for a critical hit. As if that wasn't disappointing enough, it nearly killed me with its literal power walk. That's fine, because I made sure that was its last power walk. You made a climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with the climbing path either. I'm almost convinced that Silence knows about my weakness for fall damage. Try not to fall to your death. The Master Override doesn't override gravity. Yup, he definitely knows. Now with the Master Override attached to my spear, it was time to stop Hades. But the game wasn't done with me yet. I was forced to do that errand Errand wanted me to do earlier. I begrudgingly scanned a few objects and killed more cultists. I learned that I'm such a skilled archer that I can curve my arrows directly around my target's heads, even when I don't intend to. And with that, it was time to see the Sun King. These people criticized me for going to the front of the line, so I just climbed on top of the line. I would have taken this joke further, but I was told to ignore them, ignore so them. I did. On my next quest, I remembered I had a flamethrower, and it was substantially better at killing humans than my bow. Then, Erend and I saved the city. Derval really hoped I liked fighting these things. I hope you like fighting these things. Because there's more in the way. Fighting these things. Because there's more in the way. I hope you like fighting these things. Because there's more in the way. I didn't. And now finally, with the Aaron Aaron's joke getting old and the quest complete, I could save all life on Earth. I put on my special invisible armor for this quest and took one last look at Low Poly Sun King before starting the fight. Helis and his goons did not last long. And then I exploded a couple more machines. Glinthod's attack, and I had sudden PTSD. There wasn't more though. It was fine. And now, on to the final boss fight. I made sure to use a variety of weapons, just for fun. It was nothing special though, and with that machine defeated, I could purge Hades and save the world. But more importantly, I got my achievements. And I unlocked some cool face paints too. So finally, now that I have all of the Horizon Zero Dawn achievements, this video can end.